Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name is Ashley, and today I am taking you along with me as I decorate my living room for Christmas. You're going to love how I decorate it in red and gold, but then also throw in some rustic touches. So if you want to check out my Christmas living room, stay tuned. Hey, don't forget to check out my other channel, Life with Ash. This channel is a more behind the scenes vlog style channel filled with mama life, mama hacks, cleaning, organizing, hauls, shopping, decluttering, decorating, and even more fun. That channel is all about real life. My hair is always in a messy bun. I live in leggings. I rarely ever wear makeup and I'm just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, jump down to the description box below and click the link to my other channel, Life with Ash, and come hang out with me over there. It is time to get to work decorating one of my favorite places in my home the living room. I love decorating the mantle and I just think it's so elegant and so pretty and it's right outside my room so the first thing I see in the morning are all the lights and the colors and it just makes me so happy. We are gonna go with a red and gold theme with little rustic touches here and there but I feel like I bring it all together nicely and I cannot wait to share it with you. If you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit that like button and turn on those notifications because because we have the dining room next and we're going vintage my friend so I am so excited to do this room and then finish off that room and then we have the home tour where you can see my whole house decorated for Christmas if you notice behind me I have my faux brick fireplace if you missed that video it was the last one I uploaded you are definitely going to want to watch and see how I put up this faux brick Oh my goodness, I just think it took my fireplace from blah to fabulous. And this is what I wanted to make it nice and warm and cozy for Christmas. All right, well, I'm excited and we are going to start over here on the mantle. My favorite place to decorate, so let's start decorating. So real quick, I'm here. I wanted to show you this hack. So I actually last year put nails, I don't know if you can see these, put nails in the back of my mantle. And... Then I took my garland and put wire on it. So all I do is twist it around and this really helped to keep my garland up. I was using command hooks and as I started decorating it last year, it fell off at least five times. So I had to start all over again, but this was a lifesaver. I actually saw this on somebody's YouTube uh, decorating video and I was like, yes, that's what I need to do. So I went ahead and put all the wire, it's all on there from last year. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my garland. Okay, so obviously the first thing we need to do is hang the garland. So I am just putting the wires on the nails that are already there. Now, if you notice to the at the corners of the mantle, it doesn't necessarily go to the corner. So I do end up taking those nails out and moving them directly in the corner. I hope that makes sense. So that way the garland goes all the way down. Next, I'm going to put my window back up. And then this is a DIY I made on my channel, a few my crafting channel a few years ago. So I am just going to place that right in front of the mirror. Now what you don't see is that I actually have a little riser in front of that because we are going to be putting a nativity set on there and I thought that I would rise up um, baby Jesus <laughs> and also this sign. The sign is on it too. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my chunky, chunky candlesticks and I made those little candle rings a couple years ago too on my channel with the greenery and the pine cones and the berries and then it was time to light it up. Now I'm going to go through and fluff all of the little branches. I don't know about you, but this is my least favorite part, but it is so important to do. But I wanted to put all that stuff on top before I decorated my garland because I didn't want to smush my garland all decorated while putting the stuff on top, if that made sense. All right, so now I'm going to go in with uh, this burlap ribbon, and I honestly don't know where I got it. It was a few years ago. And I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom and I am going to do the loop method. So you just wrap it, you twist two branches around it, and then you go up a few inches, you push it in or kind of pinch it, and then you wrap it around two branches and then you go up a few inches. So you just do that the whole time. Now you do want to make sure that um, the part that is sticking out like the little loop is fluffy, kind of like bigger. And uh, that way 
it looks better and kind of sticks out. So I just did this going around my whole garland and I love doing this. I, I started doing it when we first moved into this house and that my first Christmas here, which I believe was 2021. So I'm just going to do this going all down my garland. It's pretty easy to do and once you start the first two, it actually goes pretty quick. So it seems like it would be a lot of work, but it really isn't. Now, I always say about garlands or trees, it always looks ugly before it gets pretty. So once you start to build it up, and as you start building it up, it's going to look so much better. So never stop at this part and think, oh my gosh, this looks terrible. Just keep on going, I promise. Once you build up the decor on your garland or your tree, it'll look so great after you're done. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this ribbon, and it's just like a sparkle glittery ribbon, and I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Now, a couple years ago when I did this, or first started doing this, I already had cut these into strips, so they're already cut for me. I am really bad at trying to guess how long these are, um, but just kind of use your judgment, but basically I am just going to loop these going kind of at an angle and I'm going to kind of go in a zigzag. I want this to look like the red ribbon is intertwined in the garland and the burlap ribbon. I really hope that makes sense. <laughs> now, it might be weird mixing the burlap ribbon with the sparkly red ribbon, but that's when that's what I meant when I said I I'm going to do the gold and the red with little touches of rustic decor. And I think it all came together nicely, but you're going to have to let me know what you what you think about it. Next, I'm going to go in with these ornaments. And I had put these on little strips of pipe cleaner. I just cut one probably into thirds. And that makes it easy for me to wrap these on. Now, in my opinion, I like it when the bulbs look like they're nicely tucked in there and they're not like hanging down. So I like it when they're just nestled in to the garland or the greenery, but you can do it however you like. And I'm kind of just alternating gold and red, but then I'm mixing in matte gold or red or sparkle. So I'm kind of just changing it up. Now I'm going to add that pick right there. That was actually from Hobby Lobby and it's like a big bunch of ornaments. And you're going to see those picks used all throughout the room, except I am going to have to buy more for the tree. Next, I'm going to go in with these gold and red picks that I actually got from Timu, and they are so pretty. I love them. They're great quality. I actually have a video of a Timu haul. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of alternate red, gold, red, gold. Some of them I have in leaning towards the left. Some I have pointing towards the right. I just kind of used my judgment on that. Next, I'm going to go in with these little red uh, I don't flowers, I guess. And these I got from the Dollar Tree last year, and I'm just going to sprinkle them in here and there. And this is how my garland turned out, and I am in love. I don't know if you caught it, but I did put a big poinsettia in the middle right there, and that's where baby Jesus is going to go. So now that the garland is done, it is time to do the rest of the top of the mantle. So I'm going to go in with these red trees. These actually came from Menards. And I'm adding this because I felt like it needed red up on the mantle too because we're about to add a ton of white, which is the nativity. Now, my mom actually made this nativity and gifted it to me for my wedding shower. And she has a set and she actually made my sister a set. So all three of us have the same exact set. And she puts hers on her mantle, so I decided to go ahead and put mine on my mantle. And I believe that's where my sister's going to put hers, too. So it's just really special because, you know, we all have the same. And it's even more special because my mom made the, all of the pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and arrange um, my nativity scene. I can never remember how I do it, and I don't really know if there's a specific way you're supposed to do it. But I'm just going to kind of move things around and play with the pieces a little bit until I get it exactly to how I love it. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem.
Now it's time to add the stockings and I should have really added these hangers before I put the nativity on there because now I have to work around these pieces uh, but now I'll remember for next year. But I did get these in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I like them because there's no topper so they just hang there. And then the stockings I actually got from Michaels in 2020 after Christmas. So I, I just, when I saw these I loved it and that's where the little rustic touches come in because this I wouldn't really call those elegant. I would kind of call it rustic. I don't know. I think the burlap makes it a little rustic. Let me know what you think. But I think it all looks so pretty here. So I just put two on one side and two on the other. Next, I'm going to go in with this beautiful sleigh uh, and arrangement that I got from TJ Maxx last year or Home Goods, one of the two. And it does light up. I just didn't have any batteries, but I thought it was perfect for my fireplace when I saw it. Now I'm going to take my gold lanterns and I am actually going to add some gold and red ornaments inside each one of these lanterns. Now you are going to see this side of the fireplace kind of switch up a little bit because I completely, completely forgot that I bought some decor last year at Michael's after Christmas for like 80% off and when you see it you're gonna be like oh my gosh yes I know why you had to have it because it matches this perfectly but for now I'm going to go ahead and fill up these lanterns with some ornaments okay look at these lanterns from Michaels are these not the perfect pieces for my fireplace so I ended up just removing one of the gold lanterns and I'm just going to add the this set right here and I did add a candle in them too and I love how it turned out. Moving on to my TV stand, I am going to add a garland and I'm going to use command hooks for this. Now, command hooks do work but you do have to make sure that they are strong and Put them on and leave them up there for like a half hour before you attempt to put the garland on because I had some troubles with this. But eventually I did get it to stay and we had to light it up. And I got this banner for Michaels again in 2020 after Christmas and I am in love with it. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas and I love what it says. So I'm going to just kind of use the branches of the garland to help it stay in there and I'm kind of just going to weave it in and out so it looks like it is just in the garland. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but you see what I'm doing here. Now I do look, want this to look like a banner so on the ends I am actually going to use two of the branches to wrap around it and I love how it's cut at the ends of it so I'm just going to kind of arrange it and I am using the branches just to kind of fold over and I'm making sure that there's no branches behind it so it, it's not too puffy and stick out too much but one thing I do hate is when the garland like flails out to the side so I started actually putting a command hook on the side here and then I just wrap it the garland or like a branch around the command hook so that way it stays in place and it doesn't look so crazy and I think that this really helps and it helps when you go to decorate it too. So you want to put the command hook facing the opposite direction that way you can just slide it in and it's not going to go anywhere. Now for this one I just took a branch and just wrapped it around the hook and so far so good. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with more of those bulbs. I decided not to do the ribbon on this because I didn't want it to be too much and I didn't want to take away from the banner in the garland. So I, again, am just going to take these ornaments and just kind of alternate sparkly red, matte gold, sparkly gold, matte red, you know, things like that. So I'm alternating colors and styles. So I kind of lost some footage here, but I also used... Uh, that pick that had all those um, ornaments on it and I went ahead and put those at the top So I just went on the sides and then I felt like the top was kind of bare So I did tuck some small ornaments on the top of the garland as well And again, I like the look of the bulbs to look like they are tucked in there and nestled right into the garland So I don't really necessarily like them hanging so that's another reason why I like using the pipe cleaner because you can really get it tight on there and it'll stay. 
So on this shelf, I'm simply just going to put this piece from Hobby Lobby and you'll notice like the striped design in the whole living room. And then moving to the top, I have these mercury glass trees from Menards. And then I have these gold deer from Target last year, but they were only $5. They're cardboard or something. So I'm just going to put those right in front of the trees. And then I have this big tree that I actually got from Hobby Lobby. And then I have two small trees I'm going to put on either side. Now I did order some gold tea lights from Amazon. At this point, they were not here. So I did not be... I did not get to put them on, but when they come, I will add them. So real quick, I want to show you this really neat device here. It is a remote control plug, and this is so helpful to me because the plug is on my wall, but it's going to be hidden by the tree, so now I don't have to fight the tree to get back there. I actually got this last year. And it was so, so helpful. So what I'm going to do is actually unplug this. Now, this third plug right here is going to be for the tree when I put it up. So I'm just going to plug this right into the wall. And then I'm going to plug this right into it. And now it is on. So I just pushed the on. You can see the blue. So now we're going to come over here to the lights. And I'm going to point it towards the plug but I'll just show you so off and now it just turned everything off and when my tree is plugged in it'll do the same so isn't that neat like on so I love this and I just kind of hide the remote up there that way no one touches it but I'm gonna be honest I keep my lights on all month long because why not anyways so there is that little device and that's how it works and I will leave the link in the description box below if you're interested um that goes to my Amazon shop so you can kind of see what other things I got there too all right moving on to the shelf above my couch and I promise it's it's straight it's my camera that's crooked <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the sign that I bought from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. And then these trees came from Hobby Lobby. And I love them because they're tall, so it adds some height on this shelf. And if you missed my last video, this was one of the DIYs that I did on my living room refresh. So definitely check that out to see how I made that shelf. Now I'm going to go in again with these striped trees. These came from Menards a couple years ago. And then I'm going to go in with this little house, and it has gold on the side, which I thought was perfect. Next, I'm going to go in with this gold tree. And then I am going to add like one of those cheapy garlands from the Dollar Tree, but I am going to wrap some fairy lights around it so it will light up. And then I'll finish my shelf with more of those picks that have all the ornaments. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Like I said earlier, my name's Ashley. I'm a wife and a mom of two, a six-year-old and a 14-month-old. <laughs> if you love all things DIYs and home decor, this is definitely the channel for you. As you saw in my intro, I do have a second channel called Life with Ash. The link will be in the description box below. And right now, you are catching that channel at a fun time because I am doing 12 days of Vlogmas. And I posted my first video yesterday, so you're going to want to check that out. That's more behind-the-scenes content, like I mentioned, and it's a lot of fun. So I highly recommend that you click the link below in the description box to hop on over there. And please, 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 if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm trying to hit my goal of getting to 1,000 subscribers on my new channel before the end of the year, and I am so close, so I would greatly appreciate it. And hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love what you see so far. Moving on to my end tables, I'm just going to wipe them down from, you know, all the glitter from everything. And I like to keep these simple. So I keep, I always have a placemat on here and a coaster and then a little piece of decor. So I'm going to go with this little gold reindeer. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one as well. I don't like to put a lot of things on the end tables because my daughter, she likes to put some of her toys on there and just things always get knocked over. If you notice, I don't even have lamps on them. So I like to keep them kind of clear of a lot of decor because I don't want things to get knocked down and broken. All right, moving on to the pillows and the blankets. I actually bought these um, pillow covers from Amazon a few years ago. 
and I now am going to stuff these pillows inside and then we're going to put them on the couch. Now, if you're interested in these pillow covers, they will be in my Amazon link in the description box below. So you can definitely check that out, but I love them because I feel like they go perfectly with the red pillows that I'm going to add, and they're kind of cream colored. So I think they complement each other perfectly, and the pillows that I stuffed inside are so comfortable, so I love them. All right, next I'm going to go in with these Ray Dunn Joy pillows. And again, it has like that burlap feel. And then I'm going to go in with this really pretty pillow from TJ Maxx. I don't know if you can see, but there's little sparkles on it. So I'm just going to pop that right in the middle. Then to my blanket basket, the yellow isn't really vibing in this room. So I'm going to use this red blanket to kind of hide the majority of it. And then I'm going to add another pillow. It's Ray Dunn, got it a few years ago, but it has that red and white stripe or burlap stripe, which goes perfectly with all of my other decor. All right, now we're going to move on to this little uh, stand that I have behind the couch. And this is all about Santa. So this will be all things that you kind of correlate with Santa. So of course we have to go in with a Santa nutcracker that's a countdown. And then we have to go in, of course, with milk and cookies. And look at this little photo frame. I love it. Um, I actually did switch that out because from the time of recording this to the time, uh, well, till now, uh, they did see Santa this year. So I actually updated that picture. And then we have the plate. Now, Amelia made this a few years ago in 2020 for Santa, but the girls did go this year and make a new one with both their handprints that we'll use when we get it back and from now on. Then I'm gonna go in with this DIY milk I made. I'm just going to put that on top. And of course, if there's milk, you have to have cookies. So I got these gingerbread ornaments from Hobby Lobby last year and thought they would be perfect on that plate. To the bottom, I'm just going to add this sleigh full of gold and red ornaments and then Santa's boots. And then, of course, you have to have the naughty and nice list. I'm happy to say my girls are both on the nice list as of now, right this second. But that could change. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna move on to the blanket ladder. And I'm just gonna add two simple blankets on here. And then I'm going to add a, just kind of like a string of ornaments and I DIY'd some bells on my other channel a couple years ago. So I'm gonna add that to the side. Now, obviously we use more blankets than this, but I did have that blanket basket. So that's where all of our like non holiday blankets go so if it doesn't match the room I hide all of those blankets in that little blanket basket and then as you saw I always add a festive or holiday blanket and pillow on the top so after my blanket ladder is complete that does complete the living room but stay tuned because we still have to decorate the tree Coming up, I'm going to show you what my living room looks like during the day, but hang on till the end because I'm going to show you what it looks like all lit up at night. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas 
Okay, so this is a new day or night rather, which explains the outfit change. And this is just one of those things where I just needed to get it done. So I went ahead and put my tree together or halfway together. You'll see. You'll see all the real life struggles here in a minute. But this tree I actually got from Facebook Marketplace. When we first moved in, I really wanted like a nice elegant tree for this room. I do have the fun tree, which is in the playroom and that has the colored lights, but I just wanted more of like a warm, cozy, elegant, you know, look. So, <laughs> yep, I put the wrong uh, thing on. Yep, mm -hmm, change it out. Okay, anyways, so <laughs> I went to Facebook Marketplace and I could not believe that I found this it was lit and everything for $80. I snatched it right up. I made Brandon go get it right away, and I am obsessed with it. You'll see at the end a closer look of the branches, but they're kind of flocked a little bit. I don't know what you would call it because it's like flocked but not flocked. I don't know, but it is gorgeous, gorgeous. So my little uh, helper... Help me put the top on and oh, looky there, a whole strand of lights out. So we are going to cut footage because I had to deal with that. Ran to the Dollar Tree and just bought some lights to just put on for now. They don't match perfectly, but I think after this tree is decorated, you're not going to be able to notice. All right, so I'm not going to take you step by step of decorating this tree because it's just decorating a tree. And I do not claim to be the best tree decorator. In fact, I don't think I'm good at it at all. But I'm just going to show you what I do. So what I did was take that same ribbon that matches the mantle. I'm going to start in the back. I cut that part out. But you start in the back and wrap it around. And you're just going to do the loop and tuck method. And again, I'm just using the branches from the tree to uh, help, you know, kind of stick it on there or loop it in, and I am going down at an angle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ashley, there is a huge gap there. Don't worry. We're going to fix it. I'm going to go in with another strand. I'm going to go a few inches down from where I started before and do the same thing going around the tree. Now, truth be told, you cannot see the back. Do I decorate it? Heck no. And I don't even fluff the ribbon back there. I literally just pull it. That way, I have more ribbon to work with in the front, too. And it's a good thing you can't see the back because it ain't pretty. <laughs> but you do what you got to do to make your like little sections work out. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and that is still the same string, uh, the second one, so I wrapped it around. So now we have more ribbon, so I'm gonna go in with that sparkly ribbon and I'm going to go in between all of the burlap. Now some of this is cut down, some of it is not. I just kinda used my judgment on what would fit and again, I'm not worried about the back because you don't see it. Don't waste your decorations or energy on decorating something that people aren't gonna see. Only you know, and now all my YouTube viewers. But anyways, I'm going to take the red ribbon and I'm gonna do the same thing and do that loop method and go all the way to the back of the tree. All right, now I'm gonna take this little banner that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and I'm going to put it kind of towards the top of the tree and I love having that there. I think it's so pretty and it matches everything. And I'm just using the branches and the ribbon to help it stay uh, where I want it. And again, I want it to look like it's a banner kind of weaving in and out and just kind of, I don't know, just in there. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the bulbs. I only have three of these big bulbs, so I do wanna invest in more. I don't even remember where I got them, but that's gonna be something I'm on the lookout for with the after Christmas sales from Hobby Lobby or wherever. So I went ahead and just filled in some holes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Now don't worry, we have a lot more to add the, to this tree. But for now, I'm just gonna go around with all of these ornaments and just kind of spread them around. Um, again, I'm not doing anything to the back. Now I did end up turning this tree just a smidge so I had to fix it. Now I am trying a new thing this year and you've probably seen it all over TikTok or Instagram, but basically you just take a pipe cleaner and you take three or four bulbs, different colors, different sizes, you stick them on the pipe cleaner, and then you kind of twist it, uh, like twist it together, and then you just put it in the tree so you have little bunches of ornaments. Now, I did try this, and I thought it looked really cool, I do, I just wish that I had more ornaments to do more and I kind of wish that they were bigger. Look at the branches on that tree, they're thick. So I feel like little things get eaten up in this tree, you can't even see them. But I think for the sake of trying it and when you get up close to the tree, I think it looks really cool. Next, I'm gonna go in with these burlap candy canes, and this is where the rustic touch is gonna to come in on the tree. And I thought it was perfect because it has the burlap and red stripes, which I have going throughout the whole room. I thought that it all mixed well together. Oh, just wondering where you have gone to. Are you just around a corner? Next, I'm gonna go in with these burlap ribbon bows. And this is new to my tree this year because I got them on mega clearance last year at Hobby Lobby after Christmas, probably 75 or 90% off. So I just went ahead and put those all over the tree. And then I'm gonna go in with a whole bunch of picks. They came from everywhere. I kinda just collected them over the years. And I'm just going to put all of those in. And then you're gonna see me go in with the ones from Timu that I had left over that match the garland.
Okay, after the tree was all decorated, I went ahead and gave the floor a quick sweep because next it's time to add the tree skirt. And this tree skirt also came from Michael's at the same time when I bought the stockings and obviously they match the stockings. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put that around the tree. And then we have one more thing we have to add on the top. It is this very sparkly, very gold, very pretty star from Walmart last year. And once the star was in place, my tree is finally finished. Here it is. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah, it's Merry Christmas, baby. All right, well, that does it for decorating my living room for Christmas 2023. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Like I said, I love the gold and red colors. I think they're so elegant, but I also threw in some little rustic touches, and I think it all came together nicely. You're going to have to let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. I'll see you soon. Bye.